fork in the road. Somebody is in indecision is the first thing I heard. So two of swords energy, you could be an air sign. You don't have to be somebody. Could be a Gemini, chop wood, and yin. So yin is about being open to receiving. It's also about balance. And then chop wood energy is um you know about clear clearing up and cleaning out. Okay, that could be physical. That could be mental. Okay, somebody's got some emotions they either need to bring to the surface. Maybe here somebody's got two different paths. Maybe somebody is stuck here in between the past and the present. They don't know which direction to go in. They don't know what choice to make, especially with two of swords energy, but we'll see. Let's hop right on into the tarot. The fork in the road energy uh, is the number 11. I'm sorry, not 11. Why did I say 11? Maybe 11 is significant. 13. 13. Okay. What do we have here for the collective when it comes to love, please? Energies and roles can be reversed. Please take what resonates and leave what does not. <clears throat> also, too, you guys, I have been, um, if you haven't been on the community board, that's too many spirit. If you haven't been on the community board, I posted something. I'm posting polls about you, you know, what your experience has been and what your view and perception is when it comes to twin flame energy. So make sure you visit the community tab on my channel, the lovers, and there goes that choice. And I did say Gemini energy, did I not? First card out is the lovers. So there could be a passionate connection here. Anyway, make sure you go participate in the polls because I really want to know what you guys think because I'm starting, I'm, I'm, I want to kind of start having some more dialogue with you guys on the for those of you who believe you're on a twin flame journey. What else here when it comes to love? So you've got some temptation or decision that look at that queen of cups. So queen of cups, a divine feminine or water sign here could have a choice that they need to make. They're at a fork in the road. They don't know which choice they're going to make here. All right, but this person has their cup closed, which is the cup of love, right? There's water in that cup, and that water symbolizes emotions. So somebody's got some emotions, but again, remember I said those emotions are buried deep somewhere. And this Queen of Cups, this Queen of Cups has emotions, but they're buried. <laughs> I don't know for someone or somebody, and they're trying to bury the. Ooh, this. What is this about? Ten of, ten of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Sagittarius energy towards Virgo Capricorn energy. Let's see what this is about. That I was not expecting. So let's just keep, keep it moving here and see what else is going on with you guys. The Six of Swords. Hmm. Where are you going? Well, where is this person going? This water sign. Let's 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 keep going and see what this is about. <clears throat> there may be some exciting news when it comes to family. You might be excited to see your family. Some of y'all could be traveling to see your family. Okay, mm, somebody's rushing in here. Just quite. Someone's rushing in here very quickly to either tell you something or say something to you or communicate something here. <clears throat> Too many, please, sir. But let's just see. Don't make any rash decisions, like any quick decisions, though. Make sure you're thinking about this and trusting your intuition. Oh, yeah, you are going to think about this. You're going to be head over heart, whatever this is, Queen of Swords. Or somebody here has some mean shit to say to you. I don't know. I don't know. With the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Swords being here, I really feel like this is you trying not to make such an emotional decision. Um, but we'll see. You, you really, it looks like you really want to make a smart decision here and not rush it. Or Spirit is telling you don't rush it. Ooh, somebody setting some boundaries. Seven of Wands with this Queen of Swords is setting boundaries. Yeah, Pisces energy here with the Hangman. One more card, please. Oh, that's too many. Somebody could be dealing with a uh, Virgo or Libra. Whoever broke your heart, you are trying to protect yourself from this person right now. You don't want to talk to them. Okay? You may even have a block. You're not saying anything. You're not taking any action towards this person. Page of Cups. So this is either new love or somebody saying they want to bring an offer to you. But uh, mm, show me more about this. Page of Cups. Hmm. 
show me more about this page of cups, please. Why is it here? The chariot. Somebody's coming towards you. Could be a cancer or a younger cancer for some of y'all. Show me more about the page of cups energy, please. Page of swords. Younger Gemini energy. So dang, somebody wants to come towards you and communicate <laughs> and talk. Show me more about this page of swords. Oh, I've got it flip over. Show me more about this page of swords, please. One card. The Nine of Cups. Well, you got a new beginning. It's, this is new. This is a King of Pentacles, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Yeah, whoever this is, for some of y'all, you may know this person. This is the, could be the person who's hiding their feelings and their emotions from you. All right. The moon, cancer energy again. Some of you guys, it could be a cancer. The five of pentacles, the three of wands, and the king of pentacles. What came out was um, with this nine of cups and this page of swords is the full card, Aries energy, and big sign energy with the wheel of fortune. Okay, you got a new destined, I just heard partnership or new beginning with somebody here. For some of y'all, could be somebody new, but we'll see. Hmm. For those of y'all who are just to somebody old, oh, I feel like the last time we talked to this person, somebody's got some choice words to say to you. Um, hmm. You know what the thing is here? The Queen of Cups has their back turned to this Knight of Wands energy. Hmm. Different. So this is whoever this Knight of Wands is. You and this person just ha you're not seeing eye to eye. You don't. You and this person definitely don't share the same values. You you know may have some disagreements when it comes to family situations. Maybe you had a child with this person, or you just have different family values. Unavailable. Yeah, somebody's definitely unavailable here with the Seven of Wands and the Hangman. You, you're you're unavailable or somebody's unavailable here because somebody here is just not on the you, you, two of y'all are not on the same page y'all you're not in alignment with this person and they're not giving you what you deserve here so you're like you know what in the energy of i'm moving on you used to have some passion for this person, but you don't anymore. I feel like you've moved on from the passion. You've outgrown this passion, which is why this Nine of Wands is moving in a different direction. And your back is turned to it. And the Six of Swords is like somebody's moving forward in a totally different direction here. Um, but the Spirit is also saying, too, with this Fool card and the Wheel of Fortune, like, don't be afraid to change. Don't be afraid to try something you haven't done before here. Hmm. So you, yeah, see who, whoever, <laughs> oh, whoever this person is, it's all about just sex seems like, or that's how you feel. You feel like this is all about sex or this person is sexually obsessed and addicted to you. So some of y'all dealing with a tourist and this is somebody you work with. That's not for everybody. What else here? Hmm. Somebody, yeah, it's somebody has okay Libra energy. If you're dealing with a Libra, that person is insecure. There's a lot of drama, or this person caused you a lot of drama because of their insecurities here. Show me more here for the collective. What else do we have? Someone is confused. What's new, you guys? Confused. Who's new? I mean, if you're this Queen of Cups and you resonate with the Queen of Cups, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Aquarius energy is out here, too. Um, I, You might be the one who's confused because you're the one who has to make the choice. I, something significant is getting ready to happen in the next six days. Aries energy just, just popped out. I don't know why. Oh, you might be receiving some form of good news in the next six days that has something to do with your career, okay? Or your, your purpose. Something really good. Something really good. Yeah, definitely in, in I feel like the first week of December, you're going to have good news coming towards you, okay? And I feel like um, there are some issues going on. Maybe some sort of expense is popping up here for you. This is random. This has nothing to do with love, but it came out, so I got to talk about it. 
either A, you're going through some money problems now, and, you know, you're going to be doing better and you'll have a resolution to that, or you've got something coming in like first week of December that's going to solve your money problems. Um, you get a surprise like invitation or a surprise like promotion or raise or something of that of that nature, okay? Uh, weird. Okay, I don't know who that resonated for. Oh, wait, I don't see this. What is this? So, yeah, there is a past person here who's not able to let you go that I feel like you moved on from here. And they want you to be patient with them. Hmm. Okay. This is random, and I'm just going to say this. Um, You and this person are at a distance. You don't live around each other. Oh, look at this card. I'm afraid to tell you how I feel. I like to have control. Again, I, somebody's feelings are buried. They're not saying something. You know, somebody could be jealous that they feel like you've moved on from them. Um, and whoever this person is, they have they have a very big ego. And there's a trust issue with this person. You don't trust them. You don't trust them. But what I was getting ready to say is whatever this sexual chemistry and passion is, whatever this mutual attraction you feel, because like the two of you were digging each other quite like at least on a sexual level or passionate level right you there was a lot of good chemistry and this person catered to that um or what whatever they catered to they catered to some form of sensual or sexual side of you i don't know if that's random but this is just what i what came out and whoever this past person is they're dealing with somebody else and that other person just can't compare to you i i had to say it i'm not here to judge anybody, I really don't care. Um, <laughs> I really prefer not to even talk about it, to be quite honest. Um, anyway, so we got Pisces, Cancer, Energy, Fixed Sign, Energy, Aries, and Gemini out here for now. I mean, obviously could be a Libra or an Aquarius or Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio or a Younger Sag. All right. Yeah, somebody here loves to be in control. Or they love to control what you do. The second time that message has come out here. Mm. Oh, so you got people talking about you. Who's gossiping here? The page of swords is here, but um, this, did, I mean, this person could really be talking about how they feel like, again, that you moved on here with this fool energy in the wheel. But I feel like this person's delusional. I don't I don't know what they're delusional. Maybe this person is delusional because they feel like they have another chance with you. I don't I or maybe whatever this person is saying is just some made up shit. Like this is somebody here playing the victim talking bad about you because you've moved on or something like that. But low key this person is hiding behind their emotions. Their emo they bury their emotions very deep because they're in such deep regret and they're thinking about you very heavily or this person is facing some form of karma for either the poor decisions that they made or wishing they treated you better you know what i'm saying or the and i feel like this person made up shit in their mind or they told other people some um some bullshit or something about you i don't i don't i don't know what but whatever it is you see this delusional energy the D lulu and is and they they talking to people about you and making things up just to make themselves look better you know obsessed obsessed and delusional oh somebody mad i told you somebody was mad didn't i with this knight of swords energy being here with this queen of swords somebody definitely either says some shit want to call you and say something or they're upset or somebody calls somebody else and they had some choice words to say about you uh-uh Mm -mm. But that's all about control. This person feels like they're losing control over a situation or they feel like they're losing control over you. Fate lover, deep sadness, and secret admirer. Itch. I feel like somebody's secretly hiding behind a mask and they're secretly hiding behind their feelings. They're, they bury their feelings deep for you acting like they don't care. 
acting like they don't care when they really do care. They secretly admire you. Or you might have a new person here who's, who secretly admires you. Maybe that's what that choice is. I don't know if your choice is to turn your back on this situation with this past person and move on. Because honestly, it looks like you're doing that or you're going to if you haven't already. Some of y'all are like, nah, I'd rather have, I'd rather take my chances with the streets. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I'm getting. I don't know. Show me what else here. Uh, uh. This is somebody who had options that you ended things with that you feel like maybe they strung you along. Again, there's energy of like things being strictly sexual. The two of you really didn't want the same things. And this is definitely somebody here who made you feel like you weren't worth worthy. This is somebody who didn't chose not to do the shadow work and you ended something with them and you've changed and you look back on the situation in hindsight and you feel differently about it now. But I feel like you guys have learned and you've grown and you, you moved on. You know, you're you're no longer deciding or allowing this is what I really should say. You're not allowing people to to put you in other situations or just give you um yeah, the golden mirror, self absorbed narcissist, one sided relationship, love bombing. And then we got separation. You're not talking to this person anymore. You're separating and you're getting ready to walk away from this person. Or you're trying to decide should you separate. I feel like most of you are welcoming new love. And you're, you want someone else. Okay. Show me the collective energy here. Why are we talking about this past person again? Leap of faith, okay. Why are we talking about this past person? Which is makes sense, right? With the um, fool card being here. Vulnerability, okay. So this could be saying, give me one more for why we're talking. Yeah, past life love. So there could be a new person in your energy. Um, hold on, let me get one more. Some of y'all might be thinking about giving this person, this past person, a chance. Or this past person wants to, wants to be vulnerable with you. It's regret. So somebody's in regret for the way that they treated you. Like I said earlier, Spirit is saying trust in your intuition on whether or not you want to revisit that situation. I see you not doing that. I see you not doing that top of the deck is new love as, as I look up I see that could be the choice here between whether or not when the old person comes back towards you now they want to be vulnerable uh and show regret for how they treated you and, and this could very well be genuine you know what I'm saying it could be genuine but from the past energy that I see they they definitely didn't have anything to give you then, so I'm, I don't know what they have to give you now. So what, what does this person want now? What does this past person want? What are their intentions towards my collectors moving forward? What is my what are they what are their intentions towards my collectors moving forward? Okay, all right. So let me just keep it real. This person feels like they have unfinished business with you. They have some things they feel like the two of you need to discuss, okay? They really actually do want to tell you how they felt like they came across as uh, they didn't appreciate you when they had you. They, you know, this person buried their emotions like they didn't show any emotions or they weren't vulnerable or whatever it is. Because it's clear to me they were in this nine of wands energy, just, just all out here in the streets. This person is realizing that they should have expressed themselves better and they're thinking back on the past about this and they miss you and they're in all of this deep regret that in this deep sadness uh, over wearing this mask and they wish this never happened because they feel like they self-sabotage this like they mess up all the good things in their life. So this person wants to resolve something and, and so Spirit is saying, hey, okay, this person wants to be vulnerable with you and take another leap of faith and start over 
they are, this person could, you know, they feel a very strong tie to you. This could be, they could feel like you are their soulmate uh, or like your divine counterpart. They're in regret and they're hoping that you trust them again. Okay. Um, but some of y'all like, no, <laughs> I'm moving on. New love. I'm releasing you. I want new. So that's this Queen of Cups and the Lover's Energy. So there's the piece to your puzzle here. What are you going to do? Looks like to me, based on what I'm seeing in the cards, a lot of y'all are going to choose new. Okay. Because this person was not available. They weren't giving you what you deserve. And then maybe they were giving you some, some good D, you know what I'm saying? Or some good P or whatever. But what you do know is all it was was just passion, sex, and chemistry. I mean, I feel like y'all had a bond too. But, you know, the two of you just were not on the same page. So, you, you know... You accepted things for what they were and you let go. Um, you know, you had to end the situation and you changed, you grew from it. You know, you realized what it was. You, you took the situation for this person being self-absorbed or narcissist, whether this person's male or female. You, This person misses you and they're thinking about you. They, they're not sure whether or not they're gonna have enough, um, whether you're gonna trust them again, you know, um, or but but they definitely self sabotage something. But they self sabotage it because they had a lack of confidence. You know, the Knight of Wands energy may seem very confident, fun, flirty, adventurous, but low key, that's a young, naive energy. And 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 most of the time, when people show up like that. They, it's, it's ego or it's fear or, I mean, could be just pure immaturity, but it's really lack of confidence. You know, this person may just feel like sex is good. Oh, yeah, because I offer great sex or I have great whatever. Like, mm, mm, that's good enough. And no, it's not. Not when you meet a grown-up who's, you know, who's smart. And has has a healthy, um, you know, um, emotional intelligence. You know, this person may have strung you along. This could have even started out for some of y'all as a one night stand. You didn't even plan on sleeping with this person. And, you know, now this person wants to come in and offer some form of commitment. Be, because they know how they showed up in this situation and so it's like all right you know uh, you know i don't i don't know i mm, anyway <sighs> you know use your discernment you can do whatever but i love you guys i'm running a special right now here too don't argue with people okay or maybe this was past energy but somebody has anger issues for sure whoever this is knight of swords queen of swords somebody said something they you know um i'm running a special right now through friday which is one question 10 minutes ten dollars the link in the description box if you'd like to order or if you need a more in-depth reading that information is also in the description box and so is the link to do so or you can email me if you have any questions um what else am i missing oh join us on patreon too all right, that's where we do Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine readings over there. They get extra readings every week, and then they also get Twin Flame readings, too. So, otherwise, happy holidays. Love you. Bye.